Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of my trophy log series. This is the series where we keep track of our most prized possessions. In the last episode we managed to catch a lake trout trophy on Quarry Lake. In this episode we are heading to a new water body but before we do that this is the fun spot segment of the video where I try your fishing spots. Today's fun spot is on Sura River. From this spot you can expect to catch kibble carb, crucian carb, white bream, tench and common roach. This spot can also give you trophies so look out for those. Bite rate here was absolutely insane we made 123 silver in less than one hour awesome spot please wheel be merciful to my soul and looks like we're going to ladoga lake and once again champions thank you for sending me the baits the bait collection is growing bigger and bigger every day you would be surprised how many baits i have actually right now ready before we get into the episode i can you press that button we are almost at 3k well i came here to record the fun spot part of this episode and uh, if you look at this this is a very big crazy fish i do believe this is a trophy and this is one of the last trophies we need on winding rivulet how freaking lucky is this 220 gram freshwater crayfish from winding rivulet while not even going for the trophy i got extremely lucky now since we caught this crayfish i only have one more trophy to go on winding rivulet which is the zebra mussel this means after we get the zebra mussel we have completed every single trophy on winding rivulet but getting the zebra mussel is extremely hard so so, I don't know. Hopefully, I will not roll Winding Rivulet anytime soon because if we do, we might be stuck on Winding Rivulet for like six months because getting the Zebra Muscle Trophy is extremely random and you just have to play and put in hour after hour just fishing on Winding Rivulet. But anyways, this is good news. Now we have one less trophy to go for. This log is looking great. Absolutely stunning. Let's sell our keep net worth of fish. The keep net has a lot of freshwater crayfish and donuts rough. I don't know how I got so lucky. We got almost no fish that are like 3 cents and so on. So the keep net is worth 155 silver including this trophy and this huge donuts rough which is almost 200 grams. I should have filled up the cafe order. Why did I not check? I lost on stonks now. This is for you, my Patreons. Join the Patreon to support my channel and have access to exclusive content, early access and more. In this episode on Ladoga Lake, we are targeting common roach, but not just any trophy common roach, but a blue tag. First things first, let's craft some ground bait. For the ground bait, I will be using a regular roach mix, which includes ground crackers base, bloodworms as additives and caramel for the attractant. Before we go, let's grab a can of cola as well, because our character has earned a nice fizzy drink after all of this hard work. The spot we will be fishing at is at 5266. I use clip size 12, hook size 1 and for the bait some cheese cubes. This is the setup I will be using so if you want to follow this you can do it the same way. If you don't, use your own. I will be using my beginner feeder sets with a large hook and cheese for bait but don't worry there is no tench, no carp in here that will go for your bait so you will be mostly catching just common roach. But also it's a lot of fun to fight with the roach trophies on these beginner feeder sets and I do believe we will be getting a lot of roach trophies in this episode. And now we wait. Just to Imagine if the first fish is actually a trophy roach, that would be pretty cool. And I still have to say that Ladoga Lake is probably the prettiest map I've been on so far. This looks absolutely amazing. I like these rocks, the forest, the bridge, going to the island, everything looks just amazing. You know what? I almost forgot about the tasty floral snacks. Let's grab some. Some nice blood rooms and algae. We also have a fish on one of our feeder rods, so let's get this out and hope this is a trophy right away. Oh, yep, I took the wrong rod, sorry. Let's get the rod number three. All right. We can see on the bar below that it is pretty high up, so there is a chance this could be a trophy, but we will know once we see the fish. I do believe this is actually a trophy. Our first fish is a trophy. Well, if we would have gone only for the trophy, then this would be the end of this episode, but thankfully, we are going for the blue tag, so this means we can grind our lives away. This is what this game is about, grinding, but still. This is a very nice trophy. 1.2 kilos is the trophy size, and we had one that was 17 grams over. Let's see if the second fish is also a trophy, but I do believe this is not a trophy fish. Yeah, still a pretty nice roach. Over 500 grams, we take these. And yeah, just to show you, the first fish was a trophy. I wonder if we will be getting 80% bottom fishing here as well on Ladoga. That would be pretty good. Then we unlock the spot rod. But as you can see, we have our Ladoga Lake common roach trophy, but we will get the better one. This 1.217 is not going to be the biggest common roach trophy we will be getting. We'll get something over two kilos and we have something nibbling already. Take the bait. Take the cheese cubes. Actually, something I was took before, but 
about not a trophy. Well, another one that is not a trophy. I think it's because it's daytime right now. Most of the trophies you will be catching during the evening and morning hours. So those are like the best hours. If you get anything during the daytime, it's just a bonus. I just realized I was using this 3.2 kilo fluoro leader. So I'm going to switch it out to a 6.2 kilo fluoro leader. And if you're asking why did I switch the leader, it's because it doesn't really matter if you have the 3.2 kilo or 6.2 kilo. And with the 6.2 kilo leader, you can pull out the fish a bit easier. This is um, not a trophy, but pretty, pretty big roach. 600 grams. That is a very nice specimen. It is trophy time. I can already tell by the bend in the rod that this is a trophy fish. And also now we just buy the bar down below. Yep. This is a big one. I think this is bigger than the one we had before. And obviously that was like 17 grams over the trophy size. So this has to be bigger. Yeah, this is 76 grams over the trophy size. Still a big upgrade. New personal best from Ladoga Lake. This is the keepness so far. This fish needs to chill. It actually spooled me for a second. It has to be a trophy. No way this isn't the trophy because this really is not in the beginner feeder set but it's not the trophy it is slightly under the trophy i think this is like a kilo or so yeah 1.1 kilo and 1.2 is the trophy size so super close still fairly surprised that it spooled me for a second i had my drag given up this roach just keep nibbling at all three rods but none of them have taken the bait it's so odd it's like they can't fit the food in their mouth and then they're like yeah i'm gonna leave just wait for another fish to come along and take the bait but now we have hooked something but this is definitely not even a kilo fish but let's predict 500 grams ah uh, yeah no comment all right that's another trophy and this one actually feels big this feels way bigger and it looks bigger as well i think this is definitely a trophy not sure how big but maybe a new bb oh yeah 1.5 kilos almost that is a very nice common roast trophy and we also got some skill points into bottom fishing which is amazing the blue tech common roach is two kilos so this was 500 grams off still but it was also 300 grams over the trophy size which is a very good indicator that during the evening time over here on this spot you get the bigger roach three trophies in one inventory that is something i've not had for a very long time and we have 86 trophies in total right now so we started at 83 let's see how many trophies we will get in total and this is another one added to the collection of trophies i think oh all right did it get stuck or is that like an actual big big roach what's going on i think it got stuck but that is definitely still a very nice trophy roach oh it's huge 1.82 kilos no way that was like 150 grams off the blue tag that's insane that is actually insane wow we were so close already on day one and we caught that on the stonefly larva i have stonefly larva right now on two of the hooks and cheese on one of the hooks just to test out if stonefly larva is good and by the looks of it it is absolutely amazing so i might switch my bait out on all three rods a new steam achievement we caught the first caddis fly since i leveled up my bait harvesting in the last episode i haven't done any digging or any scooping and we have some of these achievements to unlock and i have a surprise achievement for you guys at the end of this episode i'm not sure if you guys will be mad at me or you will be like okay that was a good decision but you will see what it will be but this is yet another trophy and we have now 78.4 percent in bottom fishing so these roach trophies will definitely get me to 80 percent back to back trophies as well will it be back to back to back yep it will not be back to back to back this roach is 400 grams maybe i should have taken the middle rod maybe that has a trophy on and we would have caught our back to back to back let's see oh this indicator is telling me this is a trophy and it is i chose the wrong rod otherwise we would have had three trophies in a row just like we did on mosquito lake once but that is another nice trophy just barely over the 1.2 kilo mark will we get back to back or no let's see yep no back to back this is a tinier one but this one weighs at 666 so this is the devil fish we've caught this one before as well a few times i think i've caught a baby roach there is like nothing on the hook that actually isn't even a roach that looks like a vendus hopefully it's a marker vendus it is almost 100 grams very nice to see a vendus it is time to make some money there were no cafe orders so i sold all my fish to the market the keep net was worth 175 silver which is crazy because we fished only for 35 minutes in total also as you can see we caught six trophies in that time which is absolutely amazing game is trolling me right now because that is a bream that is not a roach that's my first bream over here but this i caught on stonefly larva so far with cheese cubes i've caught only roach but with the stonefly larva i've caught the vendors and also now a bream so if you get two of the wrong fish during the 24 hour period in game i feel like that's fine so stonefly still has caught me the biggest common roach so i will keep using that bait all right straight to the red 
That is the second time it has happened. The first time when it happened, I had the 1.8 kilo roach on Stonefly, and now I have a fish on Stonefly again, and it was in the red. Don't think this is a blue tag, but this is, again, a very nice common roach trophy. Yeah, 1.4 kilos. This is something to die for. Amazing. Another one. 1.39 kilos. So back to back and pretty much the same size. We take that. It is snack time. Caddy's fly again. I can sense it. This is another trophy. I can just feel it. Or maybe the bar is letting me down. I don't know. Please be a trophy. So I wasn't wrong. My senses are correct. Yep, they are correct. This is a trophy common roach. 1.6 kilos almost. That is a very good one. And it gave us 0.2 percentage into bottom fishing. That is huge. Let's pick up this rod this time. Let's not pick up the wrong one. Oh, could be a trophy because we got a spool for a second. And if it is, then it's another back-to-back -back trophy roach. It is a trophy. Oh, I love fishing here. It is absolutely amazing. You catch trophy after trophy and you can just AFK over here because the bite rate is not anything too crazy. I absolutely adore this place. So yeah, four trophies in a row. There was some sort of a time cap in between those two, but still four in a row. Imagine if this would be the fifth one, so we would have five in a row. That would be just absolutely insane. That is a tiny roach. This is most likely another trophy roach. This feels illegal. I'll be honest, lads. This feels like I'm doing something illegal and breaking the rules. You should not be catching that many trophies within one hour. This is my trophy number six, I think. Another 1.5 kilo common roach. It's just unbelievable. This spot is just crazy good. Is that another trophy? Please tell me it's another trophy. That would be just sick. Oh, and this one is not. But it was only like 60 grams of the trophy size. Time to dig. Or actually, no, we have something very nice on once again. Stonefly is actually doing a very good job over here. So I think I might switch over to Stonefly on all three rows finally. But this is another one that's very close to the trophy size, but not actually a trophy. Too bad this roach gives so little EXP, like 200 EXP, and the trophies give like 800. Imagine if they would give like two or 3,000 EXP per trophy as well. That would be such good EXP over here. But let's dig. Let's hope for something new. And we did actually get something new. We caught a worm because I have actually never ever ducked before in R4 on this account. So we still have the red worm and nightcrawlers to unlock and those both give me a new achievement on steam. But let's drag out yet another roach first. I just love when the friction break goes to red or to orange and you can hear your spool just crackling. This means a big fish. Hopefully this is something around 1.8 kilos again because it was putting up a proper fight for a second. And let's see how big is this common roach trophy. This one is actually barely a trophy. Wow, that is interesting. No new snack unlocked. Yet another roach very close to the trophy, but not a trophy. So game, give me some good luck. When I go shoveling right now, give me a new snack. Let's dig over here. This seems like a good spot. There's some grass. Oh yeah, we got something new. What did we get? A red worm. A smelly worm. So close. Almost another devil fish. What in the world is that? That is not even a roach. That is a white eye bream, and actually a pretty big one. 360 grams. That is a nice white eye bream. What is What's going on? I haven't had a trophy in such a long time. And this is yet another tiny roach. And this is not even a roach. And that is a new species for me. I've never caught this tree spined stickleback. That's pretty cool to get a new species while going for a trophy or actually a rare trophy roach. We take that. Yet another tiny roach. But this one actually gave us bottom fishing percentage. So I'm very happy about that. This is gonna be another very close call. Yep. Super close. Yeah, 31 grams of the trophy. Maybe a trophy? It looks like it could be. But but uh, yeah, the looks were deceiving because this is not a trophy fish. It is just 1.1 kilos. But this one, on the other hand, this is something a bit bigger. I do believe this could hit the 1.2 kilo mark. I bet you guys really enjoy watching this episode, me just reeling in roach after roach and then them being all trophies almost. 1.54 kilos, so that is definitely a very nice trophy roach. I don't think I've ever caught that many trophies in one episode of my trophy log series, so this is a very unique episode episode, especially because we're going for the blue tag. And I promise you guys, I will not stop before I have the blue tag. I forgot to press record when selling my fish and also filling up the cafe order, but let's say I just made a million bucks. Wow, what is that? Could that be a blue tag? because that is ripping my stuff. That, it's actually a perch. Well, I did not expect I was gonna catch a perch, but that actually seems like such a nice place where to catch a perch from. I mean, in real life, catching perch from this like rocky area looks very cool. But that was our first perch and hello to you two. This thing wants to break my rod. Definitely a trophy, unless it's a perch, then it's not, but it would be cool if we would actually get another big perch. Just some change in between catching all these roach, but that is definitely a trophy roach. Another 
one to the collection. 1.3 kilos. Lovely trophy. And here we go. This is most likely another trophy roach. It is. I think I've said roach so many times in this episode that, yeah, I can't even count that high. Come on, get it. Yeah, 1.4. 1.2% until the spot rod. It is stuck under the porch, I think. Please don't break me off. Okay, it got to the red. Come on, please come out from under the porch. You're a fish, not a mouse that's stuck under the porch. Come here. That is a big one. I think this is maybe 1.3, 1.4. Actually, 1.5. That is a decent fish. And that was a very special trophy because this trophy was our 100th trophy. We have caught 100 trophies in RF4 on this account while going for a trophy log episode. That is absolutely amazing. That's a big boy, Vendus. Yeah, almost half the trophy size. The trophy size is 500 grams. 78.9% bottom fishing. Sadly, there is no cafe order, but the keep net is worth 151 silver. So we only caught 17 fish, but made 151 silver that is some pure pure efficiency i have no more ground bait left so let's make some extra crown bait finally a trophy it actually feels weird to say finally a trophy because i just i don't know i've been here for like half an hour and no trophy but on this spot if you don't get a trophy in half an hour it feels like forever so yeah as you can see no trophies that was the first one sadly i haven't had any luck with any big trophies lately so seems like this is also not a very big roast trophy i always keep catching them right now around 1.2 1.3 or 1.4 kilos but there hasn't been a single roach that has been as big as the one we caught pretty much at the beginning that was 1.8 kilos so i really wonder if i just got super lucky or i'm being super unlucky right now yep another one so it's time to make some good good money again i stayed here for quite some time as you can see but at the end it kind of paid off because i caught four trophies and made 156 silver once again not too bad Okay, this right here, that's a nice roach. It is exactly 1.5 kilos, and we do take those. This looks amazing. And 1.333, that is also fairly cool. I really can't wait any longer. I just want the sport rod to be unlocked already, because over here when feeding, I could use my sport rod to accurately feed, but instead of using my sport rod, I'm throwing in ground bait by hand and missing a lot. That is a 2 kilo bream. I did not expect to catch one, and I got it on cheese cubes as well. That is pretty interesting just imagine if you have pva unlocked that is like the ultimate goal with pva this would not be a simple trophy it would be a blue tag i promise but we don't have pva finally this seems like something a bit nicer i haven't had any big roach in such a long time so this is a proper gift to me 109 trophies and 108 lost fish so we officially now have more trophies than fish lost that is some good statistics right there 110 i just caught back to back the same fish i think they're both 1.123 kilos which is also a fairly cool number this time we actually had very nice roach cafe orders we had the regular roach cafe order for 41 silver and the roach trophy order for 40 silver we sold the rest of our keep net to the market for 171 silver so in total we made 252 silver which is so far the best keep net we have had by a mile are you guys entertained just asking are you entertained now? Another trophy roach. I'm cooking up some new ground bait for the blue tag. It has to give me a blue tag because it is literally named blue tag roach, right? So in this ground bait, I would use crackers for base, bloodworms, maggots, cookies, and millet porridge as additives and caramel for the extractant. So pretty much it's the regular ground bait that you use for roach, but just with maggots and cookies as an extra and also the millet porridge. And here is my first fish with the new ground bait. Seems to be fairly decent, actually, as you can see from the or down below i swear if this would be a blue tag on the first cast with the new blue tag roach ground bait that would be insane this is definitely a very big roach but i do not believe that this is a blue tag but this is almost 1.6 kilos and we also got to 79 percent of bottom fishing which is very nice let's check what is also on rod number three second fish with the blue tag ground bait and it is as well a very big roach definitely my biggest or maybe in the top five at least this is fighting like crazy it was stuck to the bottom for some time i swear if this is actually a blue tag that would be crazy it looks absolutely massive let's reel in a bit more let's see how big is this 1.75 kilos so 250 grams of the blue tag that is one 
big, big roach. Another very nice fish is on. What? I just lost the fish, but there's not even a message in the chat that fish got away. Easy gains. Money time once again. Managed to fill in two roach cafe orders, one for 40 silver and the second one for 45 silver. Sold rest of the keep net for 205 silver, so in total we made 290 silver. Which is very good, but also we spent here not only one hour, but a bit more as you can see. I have to say that this new ground bait is actually doing wonders. I keep getting way more trophies and also the average size of the trophies is way better. So it was a very, very good move to get this new ground bait. And as you can see, three trophies in a row. Yep, three in a row. This is actually crazy. I'll show you my keep net. We have caught seven fish in total and five of those are trophies. 79.4% bottom fishing. Let's go. 164 silver within one hour of roach fishing. This is unheard of. Easy roach trophies. And also easy 95 silver. We are getting closer and closer to 10,000 silver. I have just realized that you could actually use this sling shot to put in your ground bait a bit more accurately. I have no clue why I did not buy this earlier, but I'm gonna buy it now and use it. Oh, this is so nice. This is so much more accurate than I was. 81 silver this time. Not the best. More trophies. And also 79.7% .7 bottom fishing. This is a very nice fish. I'm not sure if it's a bream or if it's a roach. Bream usually don't hug the bottom just like the roach do. So if this is a roach, this could be my new PB. Look at that roach. It is huge. That roach is absolutely humongous. Maybe a new PB, please. No way. It's actually a trophy. No way, no way, no way. Nice. Let's go. We've done it. We caught the common rose blue tag. Oh, yes. That is awesome. I have my first blue tag on the account. And you know what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to release it. Yes. This is the steam machine that I was talking about before. I'm going to release a blue tag. Yeah, it hurts a bit, but it hurts in a good way. It's so nice to see the text in the chat as well that I've caught a rare trophy. I am so happy. I'm speechless. First blue tag. This is such an iconic moment in the trophy log history. One blue tag. Let's go. It was very nice to talk with you guys on Discord while I caught this blue tag. So if you guys want to join my Discord and talk with me, or the other lads, then feel free to join. Let's check the collection log. Ladoga Lake. We have a blue tag common roach. Oh, it brings a smile to my face. It makes me so happy. So let's sell our fish for the last time. I filled in an easy cafe order for 13 silver and sold the rest of our keep net for 106 silver. So in total, we made 119 silver, which is not too bad. If you guys like this video, you also might like this one. Take care. Bye bye.